Hey everyone, my name's Simon and in this episode of MGuy we're going to find out why the parking guidance on some Mercedes-Benz sometimes becomes unavailable. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name's Simon, I've got a back catalogue of about 140 videos featuring a Maserati Gran Turismo, an Audi R8, this crazy CL65 with a V12 engine, and a beautiful SL55 that I've only had for a couple of weeks. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So you join me in the CL65. I've had this car about eight months and I'm really enjoying it so far. One of the problems that I've had though is with the parking sensors and the parking guidance. So the symptoms are fairly simple to describe. When you come up to a stop like this, when there's traffic in front of you, <laughs> as if on cue it does it perfectly. Okay, so per parking guidance unavailable is the message that comes up. And it happens randomly. I've had quite a few people contact me and say that they have a similar issue with the parking sensors and the parking guidance system. So I think it's quite common on the W221 series um, S-Class and also with the C216 CL class which is this one. They have uh, a complex um, parking guidance system. Let's see if it does it again. Now it doesn't do it. So they have quite a complex parking guidance system which actually guides you into a space. Now that requires it to have radar sensors at the front and the back to measure the distance available to park and also to guide you back into the space. Okay, find a space that's big enough and it will come up with a P symbol with the arrow showing where you can park to the left. Check surroundings, confirm with OK, and then it actually directs you to steer the wheel until it turns green. So we steer the wheel until it turns green keep going until it says stop and then round we go turn the wheel until it says till it turns green and parking guidance finish and it does come up frequently often when I'm driving in stop start traffic I'll have the adaptive cruise control on and virtually every time it comes to a stop it will it will um, come up with an error uh, parking guidance unavailable and uh, Distronic unavailable. I have to say it doesn't really bother me that that it becomes unavailable. What does bother me is the fact that it makes such a loud racket to let me know about it which is unfortunate because it's it can get quite <laughs> annoying after a while. My thoughts on this are that it's something to do with the radar sensors this car has a very complex system of both ultrasonic sensors and radar sensors for the parking system and the adaptive cruise control. And so it's clearly one of those systems which is being affected by this, by this issue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the diagnostic system. We're going to plug it into the car, read the codes and see if we can work out what this problem is. Okay, so in the control units, rather than going through everything which takes a while, we'll go into the specific control units. Radar sensors control unit. codes so no fault codes present that's interesting so let's go back and have a look at the event memory okay and this is where we get all our events that have happened and you can see here they all basically say the same thing disrupted by interference from an external transmitter. Disrupted by interference from an external transmitter. So if we go into one of these just to have a look at the um, 
possible causes of fault left in a radar sensor front bumper. Impaired functions, park assist and distronic. So if we go into that, it should give us a little bit more about that fault. This fault code can, for example, be caused by the following sources of interference. Vehicle with same system or same sensor system, external radiation onto radar sensor. So there we go. Nothing we can do, actually, because it's an external interference causing this issue. And uh, so it's basically normal for the car. So I think looking at those uh, results of the... Uh, the diagnostic um, testing, it's clear that there is some kind of interference which is actually affecting the, the radar sensors or the park sensors. This is something which we really have no control over. It's external to the car, nothing you can do about it. My explanation or my thinking regarding this is probably that, you know, this car was designed in the early 2000s at that time there was probably much less radio and radar interference on our roads. Cars had a much lesser amount of technology so there wasn't so much interference coming from from other cars. Now nowadays a lot of cars have got um, active cruise control which which um, obviously will make the make the environment a lot more cluttered in terms of um, radar signals and uh, speed traps will also give off high frequency radio waves which will interfere with these kind of systems i'm guessing the newer mercedes models will have a much better signal rejection uh, system so that signals that are not part of the parking guidance or part of the radar cruise control are filtered out much more effectively and it stops this this unavailability error occurring so thanks very much for watching i hope you found this video interesting and uh, informative uh, if you did enjoy it don't forget to smash that like it'd be great to have you as a subscriber and uh, switch on those notifications so you never miss another mguy video you can follow me on instagram at mguy.tv or Twitter at mguy underscore TV. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.